Hey everybody! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? <laughs> so guys, welcome to your readings for the month of December 2018. We are already at the end of the year. Where has the time gone, right? Um, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of when I started this channel. I started it January 8th of 2018, and it's been a really amazing year so far. Um, to grow to 12,000 subscribers in, you know, under a year, I mean, I hit the, I think I hit the 12,000 mark in October, I want to say. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Like, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support, for liking, sharing, subscribing, for just being here, especially to those of us, or those of you that are on this Twin to Flame journey. Thank you so much for being such an amazing support system, not just for me, but for everyone else that is on here. I mean, I don't know what I would do without the support of this community here we have on YouTube and everything. So I just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys. You're amazing. And for those of you that are just finding the channel, welcome to the community. Welcome to the group. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. Yes. So I also want to wish everybody a very happy holidays, no matter what you celebrate during this holiday season. And even if it's just for New Year's, happy holidays and happy new year, guys. It's going to be, 2019 is going to be really awesome. I can feel it. I'm really excited to, to start, to get started. Yeah. So I just want to make a quick point about um, Western astrology versus Eastern astrology. Uh, so many of you that have been following me for some time know that I recently started studying uh, Eastern or Vedic or sidereal astrology and for me personally, it's been so powerfully transformative and so accurate that I really adopted a lot of that. So that is why in the description box, you'll see I have two options. I have two versions, my Western chart and my Eastern chart. Um, I put that both of those there for those of you that still resonate with the Western chart. And I did receive a question from someone at one point asking which one... Um, you're, you are when it comes to my channel. I would say, I would recommend that you really investigate your Eastern uh, Vedic or Sidereal. They're all the same. They're like the same name for one name for the uh, different names for the same situation. <laughs> but uh, I would say, I recommend that you look up your Eastern chart because more than likely, or yeah, more than likely, most likely you are going to resonate with that one. It's more accurate. Um, it has more detail. Not everybody does. Some people find that they still resonate with the Western. So that's why I keep both of those situations there. Ultimately, it is your choice to figure, to, to understand or decipher which one, which side you resonate with more. Me personally, in my personal opinion, and if I were to approach you and have a conversation with you, I would lean more towards the Eastern side of things, but ultimately that is your decision. So if you want to figure, like, watch both sides, um, whatever signs you resonate or you have in your chart and see which side resonates with you, go right ahead. Um, but ultimately, I'm leaving that up for you guys to decide, okay? But anyway, so these are your messages for the month of December. Um, these are general, re uh, general messages. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit. You'll only make yourself uncomfortable in the process, yes? Um, they're general readings, so these energies are fluid. Um, they could, we could be talking about you specifically. We could be talking about someone else that you're connecting with or someone that's surrounding you. Again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I am available for private readings. All the information is in the description box below. I am going to be taking it a bit easy for the month of December, um, but I'm still available. So if you want to get a reading, go ahead and look at the description box. Yes. Um, keeping it cute, as always, with the normal stuff. We've got the Golden Universal Tarot, and we've got Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns. I love unicorns. And if you know me, if you've been following the channel, you know just how much I love unicorns. Yeah? So I guess that's it, guys. Without further ado, let's do it. Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. All right, let's get straight into it. <laughs> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Pisces. So, 
uh, I feel like a lot is going on for you guys right now on a romantic level. As I was doing the pre-shuffle in between uh, Zodiac signs, um, and I was channeling your energy, a lot of cards were flying out. Uh, two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Cups mainly are the ones that I remember the most. And when I finished, oh, Six of Cups as well, Six of Swords. When I finished the pre-shuffle, the Eight of Cups was on the bottom of the deck. So some of you really are walking away from something. Oh, also the star came out. You might be dealing with an Aquarius, but um, some of you probably have had to make a pretty serious decision when it comes to a, some, a, some sort of soulmate situation. We could be talking twin flames, okay? Um, but you're needing to walk away. And some of you may have already walked away. Some of you might be struggling to do so because I also, I believe the Two of Swords came out as well. Um, but ultimately, the universe is trying to assure you that whatever you are walking away from, are having to walk away from, or so there's the Ace of Pentacles again. Whatever you have walked away from, it's all in service of your highest good and wish fulfillment and also healing, okay? Walking away from a situation that is stagnant, not really working well for you, blah, blah, blah is basically clearing the space, the space for something new to come in with the Ace of Pentacles, yes? I know, Pisces, I know, I know you don't necessarily want to hear that. I know you're struggling with it, I can feel it, I see you guys crying, I, I really feel some of you crying your eyes out right now about this situation. Some of you may have already left that energy surrounding, you know, this departure. For some of you, you might have been walked away from, and ultimately it's in service of your highest good. All right? I mean, that's just, and it may not feel, look, there's the Ace of Pentacles again. It may not feel that way. Right? Oh, and there's the sun. It may not feel that way right now. But the universe is saying, honey boo boo chow, that's what it is. All right? Let's cut the deck here for you, Pisces. All right. Here we go. Overall energy for you, Pisces, we've got the King of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign. Uh, this specifically is Aquarius. Again, the, the star came out, so you really could be dealing with an Aquarius, or there could be some strong Aquarian placements in your chart. But ultimately, if it's neither of those, this is the energy that you either have adopted or you need to adopt. Complete and total objectivity and diplomacy. All right. This is similar to the Queen of Swords, but different in the fact that the King of Swords is going to hear you out. The Queen of Swords straight up doesn't give a shit. Obviously, this is not working for you or me, so I'm just going to cut you out. Whereas the King of Swords is a little more diplomatic. He's like, all right, all right, plead your case. Maybe we can, maybe we can iron this out. Maybe we can fix this. But what I'm feeling right now with this King of Swords energy here, chances of fixing it are not too good. Boop! Ace of Cups. Now, you are needing to adopt this King of Swords energy in service of you. In service of self-love, Pisces. I feel like so many of you have been wrapped up in this energy of loving another person, but you've been forgetting about yourself. And now it's time to remind yourself. So hear this person out. Go ahead. But I can tell you right now, the more this person talks, the less you're going to want to stay with them. And the more you're going to be reminded of this self-love, this need to love yourself. All right, Pisces? Hey, and you got the magician manifesting something new. The King of Swords is going to help you cut out the shit that has been keeping you from manifesting. Yes! Manifesting exactly what it is you want. And you've got the Ace of Wands underneath all of that. Inspiration. D Pisces. That is so beautiful. So beautiful. So let's get into your first set of energies. First set of surrounding energies in your first row here, we got 
Aww. The lovers. Could be dealing with a soulmate, a twin flame. You really could be in the process of manifesting this divine union, this divine love. Now, the other thing I'm getting here, well, I'm getting two things. One, I'm getting a continuation of the energy of um, you choosing others over yourself. You loving others more than you love yourself. And that is very much a choice, in my opinion, is a choice between vice or virtue, which is represented by the lovers in this way. Vice being the man in front of the burning bush, virtue being the woman in front of the tree of life. Virtue here would be choosing yourself, choosing to love yourself. Now, in choosing to love yourself, you may be in the process, and continuing to love yourself, you may be in the process of manifesting with the magician and the Ace of Cups, this divine union. But the other thing that I'm getting with this card here is the divine union between masculine and feminine within. This is a big lesson for you right now, Pisces. And this is why it's coming out as the lovers and not necessarily the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups being the minor arcana version of the lovers. And the Two of Cups lately has been really talking, in my opinion, has been talking to us about the divine union between masculine and feminine within. But this is a major life lesson for you, Pisces. This is why it's showing up in the major arcana form, okay? The lovers is coupled with the three of wands. So as you bring this union within, as you make this choice to love yourself and honor yourself, you are in a position for the universe to deliver to you what it is you've been working so hard for, what it is you've been investing in for so long, right? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. We've got, there you are, Page of Cups, the dreamer. Set your dreams free, Pisces. Cut away everything. I feel like some of you are connected to someone that is just really stifling. Really stifling. And you're really needing to adopt this King of Swords energy in order to let your dreams fly, run, flow free. For some of you, this could be an apology, some sort of reconciliation, but it doesn't feel like it's much. I mean, it is the Page of Cups, and okay, technically the Page of Cups is not really offering that much, but specifically for some of you that maybe want an apology or might be getting an apology, I don't really feel like it's going to be very substantial. I'm not going to lie. Page of Cups is coupled with, woo, the Knight of Swords. So yeah, look, there is some sort of communication. This could be with a Gemini. Knight of Swords would be Gemini energy. And it's funny because I was, as I was channeling your energies, when I channel the energies of the sign of the zodiac signs, I um, visualize the zodiac symbol. And Pisces and Gemini is a very similar symbol. And as I was starting to do the reading, it's like your 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 symbol was morphing into the one of the Gemini. And I was thinking maybe some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Well, here you go. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the chances are you might get some sort of apology. But I want to caution. Because I feel like, I feel like there could be a conversation for some of you that just turns in just, just that's just reckless with the Knight of Swords energy. And for some of you, that could be really telling. That could really kick your King of Swords energy into play. Because I said, the King of Swords is diplomatic. He's going to hear you out. But I feel like, the, and I said, the more that person, this person speaks, the more you will be wanting to choose yourself and choosing to love yourself instead. There you go. Page of Cups, Knight of Swords. Your challenge for this first row here, Pisces, you've got the Three of Pentacles, loving yourself, self-mastery, loving yourself enough to do the work to master yourself. Okay. That is pretty challenging, especially if you've been in an energy of giving to others more than you give to yourself, okay? Three of Pentacles is coupled with, woo, the Nine of Swords. I feel like many of you are, many of you are in this anxious state, like you, you, you're like, like, I hear you saying to yourself, I can't do this, I can't do this, I, 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 I can't, I, I don't even know who I am, like, what, no, I can't do this, but you can't. 
There may be some things that you really have to get to the bottom of in order to really master yourself the way you need to, which could be creating this anxiety. But that's fearful. That's illusionary, Pisces. Right? I just want to throw out there that we could be talking to a cross watcher as well. This is a general reading, so the energies can go either way. The final message for your first row here, Pisces, you've got, whoa, the tower, Mars energy. The tower is destructive, yes, but it's just as creative as it is destructive. For some of you, um, you might want to look at where Mar Mars is placed in your chart, maybe what sign it's in, also what house it might be in. I'm picking, I'm picking up house might be in, what house it's in I think is more going to give you more of the information or at least for some of you that are needing to hear this look at the house first then look at the sign that can help you understand what part of your life is basically going through a spiritual overhaul <laughs> all right but now this tower moment could be you making your decision with the King of Swords and saying, no, I don't want this anymore. You've said enough. You've done enough. I know enough. It's over. Done. Bye. <laughs> and you swim away. The tower is coupled with... Ooh. The Five of Swords. The Five of Swords can talk about retrograde energy. Mercury is in retrograde right now. It will be in retrograde until December 6th. Yeah. So that could make communication a bit volatile to begin with. But what I'm really getting here... Now, this also could be, for some of you, this could be a situation that started around the last Mars retrograde. I don't know when that was. I think it was earlier this year. Uh, I, I look that up um, and maybe think about what may have happened in your life around that time. But what I'm also getting here is there's this, this communication that could come through, again, could be really volatile, but ultimately it might, it might be painful at the time, but ultimately it's going to serve you because it's going to create some sort of epiphany. It's going to help. It's going to create a tower moment. It's going to help you bring down this tower that's been long standing. Okay. Getting into your second row here for the month of December, first set of surrounding energies, you got the Four of Wands. Well, that's interesting. So you've gone from the three to the four. How do you go from the Three of Wands to the Four of Wands? You choose virtue over vice. You choose yourself and your desires, your needs, your wishes, your goals over that of another. And when you do that, you get some real good foundation, honey. Four of Wands is a union card. And I was talking about union between the masculine and feminine within, with the lovers. Here you go. Now, the message with the Four of Wands that has been overlooked a lot, in my opinion, is that, yes, you've got a great foundation and this may be cause for celebration, but this is not a time to rest on your laurels. You still have work to do. Yes? Yes. And now it could very well be, Pisces, that this harvest or this, this, this investment that you've been waiting for a return on was the union. But that union is coming in a way that you didn't necessarily expect. That union is coming between masculine and feminine within. Four of Wands is coupled with the world, Pisces. Major, major cycles ending, closing out of major cycles. Now, the one thing I want to say to you is be patient with yourself because this is a major arcana. So this is not going to happen overnight again. Union is here, but you still got to do the work. You still more work you got to do to really get it to manifest or to really get yourself going in the right direction that you want to be going in, okay? To really close out this cycle. But that's beautiful, Pisces. 
Ah, oh, I love it. Second set of surrounding energies for your second row here. You got five of cups. No, not five of cups, five of pentacles. This is that energy of feeling lack, like you can't do it, like you're not good enough. But you are the one that's leaving yourself out in the cold here. Because you're choosing to, to not honor yourself and your wishes and to not step up and do the work for you. Right? Five of Pentacles is coupled with... See, there you go. The moon. There you go, Pisces. Now, this is your energy also with the moon. But you being lacking, destitute, impoverished, even if it's just energetically or emotionally, that is all an illusion. That is the fear talking. That is not your truth. Never has been and never will be your truth. Step out of it. And no one, Pisces, no one can pull you out of that except for yourself. And the more you work towards having someone else do that for you, the worse it's going to get. The longer you are going to prolong the closing of this cycle. Okay? Now, your challenge in this second set of energies for the month of December, you got, woo, the Eight of Wands, communication. Maybe communication with this person represented by the Knight of Swords doesn't have to be a Gemini. It could be anybody. But this also is communication with yourself. Move it. Getting moving. Movement. Knowing what it is that you want and going straight forward. Not letting anybody stop you. Eight of Wands is coupled with. Could be a Sagittarius energy too. Uh, like I said, Mercury is in retrograde right now. And then as far as the Western, Western system goes, it's moving in retrograde through Sagittarius. So this energy might be the, um, the Tower and Five of Swords energy here. And it's moving pretty quickly. So that could be challenging for you. Absolutely. This is going, it's going to be in retrograde through December 6th. Okay. Eight of Wands is coupled with the Two of Swords. Your challenge is to see things clearly, Pisces, or Crosswatcher, whatever. Energies are fluid. This is a general reading. Take it as it resonates. The challenge is to take the blindfolds off and look at this situation objectively. Hello, King of Swords is the first card that came out for you in your overall energy. You got to see things for what they truly are in order to move forward. This is what's keeping you from moving forward. The Two of Swords. Okay? Open your eyes. See things for what they truly are. Some of you are saying to me right now, but I'm shrouded in all this illusion, okay, with the, with the moon. All right. But the moon offers you a boon as well. Intuition. Use your intuition. You're pretty good at that, aren't you, Pisces? You are a water sign. Uh-huh. Yeah, see, the universe is saying to you, there are no more excuses, my dear. It's time to get moving. Okay. Closing message here in your second row of energies for the month of December, Pisces. You've got the Knight of Pentacles. Good Lord, this card is coming out for damn near all of the zodiac signs today. And I started with Sagittarius. Slow and steady wins the race. You don't have to rush. Even though you've got this Eight of Wands energy here, even though there's this hustle and bustle with Mercury and retrograde through Sagittarius in the Western system, you don't have to move too quickly. Methodical. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't leave any stone unturned because if you do, you run the risk of recreating this situation, all right? And I don't say that to scare you. I'm just being honest. I'm being truthful about it. The Knight of Pentacles is coupled with the Seven of Swords. My, 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 you might really be dealing with an Aquarius because these two cards came out in the same 
spot. Only the Seven of Swords came out first, and then it was the Knight of Pentacles. And what I was saying here with this message, and it's the same for you, Pisces, discernment. You don't have to go talking to everybody about what it is you're trying to do, what it is you're trying to change, how it is you're trying to heal. Do it on your own, discreetly, behind closed doors if you need to. And once things have really taken hold, then you can talk about it. But for now, I'm hearing choose your battles wisely. Don't go telling everybody your plans because then that just allows people to put their energy into it and it could sabotage you. Okay? At the same time, there could be someone that's working on making some moves maybe away from you. And I think that would be for the cross watcher. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I cracked myself up. Okay. Let's get your closing message here for December from the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah? Yeah. For Pisces for the month of December. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Pisces. Let's do it. Closing message, best message from the unicorns for the month of December. Pisces, what have we got for you? Thank you so much, Spirit. Best message for Pisces for the month of December. Oop, there we go. Whoa, strength. Now, this card was on the bottom of the deck for Sagittarius. On the bottom of the deck for you is gentleness. Oh, be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. And Pisces, you are so gentle. And it's such a beautiful thing. Oh, that's fantastic. Final message here for you, Pisces, is strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. All right, Pisces. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope this was helpful for you. I am available for private readings. Um, uh, my email is in the description box below, along with all of the readings that I do offer. <clears throat> I'm not going to be taking as many uh, throughout the month of December because I am, you know, it's the holiday season. We are in a bit of a restful period right now, collectively. Um, and yeah, I just want to take it a little easy this month. But um, please don't hesitate to reach out for a reading. All the readings that I offer are in the description box below. If you cannot decide which reading to get, go ahead and email me and I will, you know, we'll chat about the situation and I'll help you decide. Yeah. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in, Pisces. Much love to you. And I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah. Happy holidays. Mwah! Bye.